just to light that flame in that cauldron was something else and, and I'll now think differently when this flame goes into the Olympic Stadium and that person stands on the stage or wherever and lights that torch, lights the cauldron and I'll have those same emotions running through again I think. Karen West was the final torch bearer for the Brighton leg of the Olympic torch relay. Thousands of people turned out to welcome the flame into the city with the cauldron finally being lit at the ProBiz County Ground in Hove. Sally Big, nay Gunnell, is an Olympic gold medalist and she was on stage awaiting the arrival of the torch. It was amazing, I've had a great day. I had the uh, honour of being able to carry the torch at some point today and then to come here to my hometown as well and to be on stage and just, you know, watch it come in there. And uh, I just, I th I'm just getting blown away by how everybody's getting behind it um, and giving that real support to the team. It's, it's packed here, 10,000 people, uh, tickets sold out within nanoseconds of uh, the announcement of the concert with the Rizzle Kicks, one of our local groups. So I think this is just great for the city and great for all the young people who are here to see a once in a lifetime uh, experience. Yeah, we've had lots of lessons related to the Olympics. Olympics. It's been good. Any yeah. big Olympic fans then? Yeah. yeah. Any uh, any events in particular you're looking forward to seeing? I like the swimming. I like the gymnastics. I'm yeah. probably shit at gymnastics, but I like the gymnastics. And how do you think Team GB is going to do overall? Brilliant. Hopefully we're going to win. Well. Yes, we're going to win. Think positive. There are some peace ambassadors who are part of this whole Olympic process, which are getting somewhat overlooked in the uh, excitement around the around the sport. And I just hope that, particularly here in Brighton and Hove, where those kinds of values around solidarity are so important that we'll remember that aspect of the Olympics as well as the wonderful sports that we're going to see as well. Earlier on I got absolutely drenched and I couldn't believe the people that were still standing there watching the, the, the whole of the torch relay and here tonight but it just doesn't stop us um, and that's what I love about the British people you know we're, whatever the weather we'll get out there. The whole whole day has been awesome to learn at lunchtime I was going to come in here with it which I didn't know I thought I was out on Palmyra really? Square that's what my letter said, and uh, they asked me how I felt about bringing it in here. And I said, pardon, no, got the wrong person. Our final torchbearer of today is Karen West. And Karen is a nursing sister at Boring Hall Hospital. She's 60 years of age. And if you'd like to join us here...